Hello, my name is Mürbet Türesoy. This presentation is made by me and Gülfer Topçoras from Istanbul Technical University, Faculty of Architecture and Architecture Department. In construction projects, the overall project success is dealt with targeted cost, time, quality, project objectives, and stakeholder perception and satisfaction. It can be achieved by implementing effective stakeholder management, including identification, communication, engagement, and comprehensible and applicable models. Many scholars underline that the ignorance or poor stakeholder management as one of the key reasons responsible for project failure. Freeman describes the stakeholders in his famous publication called Strategic Management, a Stakeholder Approach in 1984. This is the most common and has been cited in the literature besides many other definitions. Stakeholders are defined as internal and external or primary and secondary stakeholders by different scholars according to their impact to the organizations. Internal and primary stakeholders are related to the projects directly. They link to financial stakes, contractual relationship, and managerial responsibility and power. External and secondary stakeholders have no direct relationship, but they look for a way to influence the project. Here I talk about historical background of stakeholder concept and stakeholder management issue. In 1950s, the idea of corporate social responsibility emphasizes that corporations have also some duties against to society beyond their economic activities and benefits. The shareholder and stakeholder theories are based on corporate social responsibility. Shareholder theory of Friedman underlines the importance of shareholders' economic interests in the organizations. On the other hand, according to Freeman stakeholder theory, the success of organization is related to their all stakeholder satisfaction. In the mid of 1990s, the stakeholder theory is developed into three taxonomies such as instrumental approach, which is underlines the instrument and consequence for project and organization performance. It looks at stakeholders as means to improve corporate performance. Descriptive approach analyzes the scope and natures of the various relationships between the stakeholders and organization. However, normative approach considers the moral and legal claims of stakeholders against project. It looks at stakeholders as end. In years, many researchers mention different definitions, models, and strategies for stakeholder and stakeholder management issues. Here are some characteristics of large-scale construction projects. In recent years, they are appeared increasingly in the national construction sector as similar to around the world. They are also called complex projects, mega projects, and have multiple various stakeholders with complex relationships among all of them and each other. Why are mega projects important for decision maker and politicians? Philip Jack answers this question by means of four sublimes such as technological, political, economic, and aesthetic concerns. In literature review, we meet four basic issues related to stakeholder management such as stakeholder analysis, stakeholder influence strategies, stakeholder management strategies, and stakeholder engagement. Stakeholder analysis includes identification, classification, and assessment of stakeholders. It is implemented through the stakeholders' features.
Stakeholder salience models suggest the classification due to stakeholders' power, urgency, and legitimacy. Stakeholders' power, which means to influence the organization and the position to carry out stakeholders' will despite resistance. Legitimacy, general perception or assumption that the actions of an entity are desirable, proper, or appropriate within some socially constructed systems of norms, values, beliefs, and definitions. Urgency, stakeholders' urgent claims are based on time critically and sensitivity. Seven different types of stakeholders are classified in this model. These figures show the stakeholders' positions and level of engagement towards the, the projects. If they are not neutral, they can be described as unaware, resistant, supportive, or leading stakeholders. Due to stakeholders' positions toward projects, they can be defined as active or passive position, active or passive support. These tables show the type of stakeholders according to their positive or negative attitudes toward projects concerning power and legitimacy. Different matrices are developed for stakeholder analysis according to their characteristics. One of them is power interest matrix. They sign how to be managed and approach them by project team. This is stakeholder power and predictability matrix. Stakeholder power and dynamism matrix, another tool of assessment in stakeholder analysis. Stakeholder influence strategies might be applied to increase the likelihood that stakeholders' requirements will be considered in the project management decision-making process. They help to maximize stakeholders' power and enhance the legitimacy of claims, Coalition building and communication are the most effectual that stakeholders use to influence decision makers. Stakeholder management strategies are undertaken by the project management team. They can change the level of stakeholder salience and positions toward the project. Management team can choose the relevant strategies due to stakeholders' positions. Another main issue for stakeholder management is engagement of stakeholders. It aims communicating, involving, and improving relationships with stakeholders to ensure that their participation in the decision-making process. Involvement is implemented by different components such as information, consultation, co-decision, empowerment, and collaboration. According to this study from Literature Review, critical success factors for stakeholder management have been considered in seven categories. Firstly, these categories are preconditions of external factors and pre-stakeholder identification. Another categories are stakeholder identification and stakeholder classification, assessment and prioritization. Then, stakeholder engagement and implementation, monitoring, evaluation. Final category is continuous support. This study defines the first five rank critical success factors as in the table. In this paper, four different proposed models for stakeholder management have been re reviewed from literature. First one, a conceptual research model for stakeholder management. The second model, 10-step model for stakeholder management for ethical
critical decision making. The third model, a process model for stakeholder management. The fourth model, stakeholder-based project management model. Typically, it is formed stakeholder identification and analysis and management process to reach project success. In fact, these all models aim to achieve the project success by managing stakeholders properly. Here, it is seen the comparison of four models in the table. Conclusion, here again, first five ranked critical success factors related to stakeholder management and the most striking stakeholder management components from the models in the previous table. They are stakeholder analysis, effective communication, continuous engagement, stakeholder involvement, empowerment strategy, monitoring and feedback. Thank you for joining us.